Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 at Lake Amistad at the San Pedro camping area, and I'm in SP10, whatever that means. I, they misspelled spit. Anyway, enough said. There's some of my stuff there, my chair, my footstool, and my place to put my beer, my walking stick. I'm fixing to go walking right now, and there's my solar, even though <laughs> I don't need it. I mean, I was so excited to me because the sun came out and I checked, my battery was full. Right now it's showing 13.4, which is a full battery, but it was good practice. I mean, I didn't even need to charge them, but I thought I'd go ahead and top them off, but the bat I only got one battery. But yeah, it's virtually no energy use by me because I don't, I don't do anything. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I'm using is the refrigerator on propane, and apparently it uses virtually no uh, very little propane and very little battery at all. So I, the pr boondocking problem for me is a, a given. I mean, it's nothing to it for me. Water's good, power's good. So anyway, there's a good picture of my truck. I know you haven't seen it. There's my casita all set up. I need to level it a little bit better. I need to raise it up on this side a little bit. I missed a little bit yesterday because I was in a hurry. Why was I in a hurry? I have no clue. But anyway, we're going to take a little walk around the park. But first, we're going to go down here and look at the map. But anyway, I'll give you a little little deal here. There's a little pavilion over here. There's some campsites going that way. There's a little deal there for groups. And right over here is the pay station right in there. And I'll kind of pan around. You'll see some of the campers. There is a little wind. You may hear a little wind in the mic. Maybe not too bad. But anyway, I'll kind of pan on around here and you can see. And the campground goes on around that way. I think they have a total of 30 sites in here. Uh, and then a few tent sites. They've got several trash cans, but again, there's no hookups at all. Uh, seniors is two dollars a night or three dollars a night. Uh, other other folks is six. But we'll walk down here and I'll show you the map. Uh, they tell me that when the lake is full, that the water comes up to right up in here. But uh, I can't even see the lake, so I guess it's really low. So let's go over here to the deal while I'm taking my walk because this is my official morning walk and away we go. So let's go over here and check the map. Well, let's see, they got two maps here. Yeah, whenever you come into a, a federal recreation area, uh, you just go by that little, they usually have a pay station somewhere. And, uh, but anyway, this is a map of the lake. It's not too good. The other one over there is better. I'll walk over there and let you see it. Yeah, because this one's kind of discolored from the sunlight and so forth. But anyway, here we go. Del Rio, Texas, that's where I am. Lake Amistad, Federal Recreation Area. Great spot. There's a lady over in a van. Got all kind of stuff. Anyway, let's go over here and we'll check the pay station out. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing? Doing good, yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm going to do a quick video right here. I won't get you in it. Sure. Because yeah. I saw your posters at the post office. But anyway, this is the, the map. Of, yeah, the, the, uh, the lake right here. This is where we are somewhere. Yeah, this is San Pedro right in here. Okay. And then Del Rio is down this way. Big lake. Most of it's in Mexico, apparently. And uh, yeah, so that gives you an orientation where I am. And now I'll continue my walk. And I'm sorry I interrupted those gentlemen. But be that as it may, away we go for a walk now. There's one really good spot back here. I don't know what number it is. See where that fifth wheel is? That'd be the best spot. Unless, unless they were ha if they were having an event here at this pavilion, uh, you'd be uh, listening to a lot of music, I'm sure. However... Beautiful. The sun's coming out now. We got cakes on the griddle, and uh, yeah, but I still haven't seen the lake. <laughs> it's out there somewhere, guys. Uh, so anyway, let's go. We'll walk around the campsite. We'll let this go a few minutes while I'm getting a little exercise. But I would say that right now we've got about let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got about eight or nine uh, RVs in here. Hardly anybody really. Very nice campsite. Very nice. Uh, again, there's no, absolutely no hookups of any kind. They do have the old vault toilets, and I'm amazed that they're able to uh, keep the odor down because you, you, the wind. I'm walking right into the wind, so if you hear wind in the mic, I apologize for that. But 
may not be too bad. I got my dead cat on my mic. It's a little furry little cover over the mic that helps reduce or eliminate wind noise. Anyway, there's my campsite. There's the casita with the solar out, which I'm amazed. I mean, I, it, it, we didn't, I didn't use any energy. And I mean, I, mean, I ran the, the Max Air fan probably for about an hour, roughly. Uh, the uh, pump probably total 10 minutes, 12 volt pump. Lighting, uh, maybe an hour or so. Uh, that's it and uh, didn't use any. I, the battery was full when I woke up this morning. So yeah, we're, we're good on that. I was very pleased with that because you never know till, you know, you can run tests like I did at home and you think you've got it figured out, but until you're actually doing it, you haven't. But anyway, we've got some nice sun now. The solar is charging the battery. Charging, it's charging a full battery. But as you can see, the campground kind of loops around here in this road, uh, as you can see, if you can see my finger, I can't, I mean, it kind of goes around that way, comes back around, and then the exit is right here, go back out. It's about a mile in here on a gravel road like I'm walking on, smooth enough for any vehicle that you've got for sure. And I'm going to go on around the loop here. Well, let's see, let me zoom a little bit. Maybe that'll help you see it a little better. And this guy over here, he's got him a super big motor home and a tent. And I mean, I think they moved in. I mean, I think they found him a new home. Anyway, this is number 16 here on the right. There's a subdivision up here. And yeah, so you're not that far from civilization. You're again, nine miles from downtown Del Rio. They've got two large grocery stores, HEB grocery stores, a Walmart. All the stuff you need. Here you've got a good Verizon signal and a pretty good AT&T signal. I'm told that some of the other uh, campgrounds around the lake that Verizon signal is non-existent. So I'm just rambling on here. I'm going to try to find the wall this afternoon or, or whatever they call it. Here's a guy. I, I love it when they bring a dog and the dog just sitting there barking. You know, and the owner's gone probably for a hike or something. And, and that's what happens. You know, they, they, they'll tell you that their dogs don't bark or make any noise. And they probably don't when they're around. However, you know, here's another place here you could probably camp. And I may do that. Uh, it looks like you could just pull right out here. Why wouldn't I do that? I don't know why I wouldn't. Uh, maybe it's a parking area. I don't know. Doesn't have a campsite, but I don't see why that would bother anybody. Certainly give you some privacy. Well, bully, bully, we may do that. When I get ready to level up my RV, I might just level right over here. Because, you know, I don't need that table at all. Let's walk down here and look at this. This is probably underwater when the lake is full. Well, maybe not, because we're right. We're on a little peninsula here that sticks out into the lake. Well, when the lake is full, it does. And uh, yeah, this would be good here. I mean, I see tracks here. I just wonder if people are using this as a turnaround or what. But yeah, I could just park right in here. Yeah, I'd be good. That'd be great. So what we're going to do when we finish this video, folks, is I'm gonna move right down here. Why? Huh, why not? See what kind of signal I got here. Well, I'll check that in a minute. Anyway, uh, what else can I tell you about the campground? Not much. This is a little, apparently a little picnic area here. Oh, I guess that's what this is. People can park here for day use maybe, because those are picnic tables right there. But hell, they could still park there and I'd be over here out of the way. Uh, I'm still thinking about that and it looks fairly level so anyway let's keep going here Rusty so what else can I tell you I'm gonna try to find the the barricade or the wall whatever you want to call it later maybe tomorrow I don't know whenever I get the urge and then 
uh, we'll do this video today and then I might do a driving video I'm gonna go into back in I went into Del Rio this morning and got a few things from the grocery store so I'd have something to snack on and uh, this evening or around beer 30 or before I'll go into Del Rio and go to a Mexican food restaurant and probably get me a nice uh, Mexican plate or something for supper but I, whenever I get something like that I'll, I'll make two or three meals out of it you know what I mean so having said that let me end this video and I'll finish taking my walk so guys from the uh, Amistad recreation area Del Rio Texas listening to a barking dog hi Love barking dogs, love them, love them, especially at night. You know, that's something else for that dog. I'm, I may stay at my place because that dog's going to be out. You got to know that. So my place is looking better, even though it's not great. Here's one here, but see, it's right across. I don't know, these guys over here, they're busier than field mice, you know. I hear generators running, and he's always something. I don't know what's going on there. So with that in mind, guys, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a little commission, doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health is what this is all about at the end. And, uh, you know, enjoy your life. I mean, am I enjoying this? Shit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, variety is the spice of life for me. I don't know how it is for others. It may be crap. But for me, it's fine. Anyway, guys, adios from uh, San Pedro Campground, Amistad Lake. Yeah, this guy over here, now he's got a saw. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, yep, he's sawing something. Anyway, enough said, guys. That's what you run into at a campground. All right. Thumbs up, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.